Hi dear children, welcome to the next session on the chapter Excretory Products and its Elimination. In this module, we are going to learn about the human excretory system. We had learned about the human excretory system in class 10. So let's have a quick revision with a slight elaboration. The human excretory system, it consists of a pair of kidneys, a pair of ureter, a urinary bladder and a urethra. Now, dear children, just have a look at this picture. In this, we can see a slight variation in the positions of the two kidneys, that is the left kidney and the right kidney. The right kidney is placed at a lower position when compared to the left kidney. It is because of the presence or the position of the liver on the right side of our body. So in order to accommodate the liver at the correct position, the right kidney is placed at a lower position when compared to the left kidney. So the pair of kidneys, let's learn about the structure of a kidney. What's its color? It is reddish brown in color and its shape is like a bean shaped, a seed bean. Okay, And uh, it is enclosed in a tough three-layered a three-layer structure and this three-layer structure is called as a fibrous capsule and the length of a kidney is about 10 to 12 centimeters its width is 5 to 7 centimeters and its thickness is only 2 to 3 centimeters and the average weight of a kidney is about 120 to 170 grams we have a concave side and a convex side you can see a concave side and a convex side and on the concave side of the kidney there is an opening and this opening is called as a hilum okay and this opening is through which the blood vessels the nerves the lymphatic ducts and ureter enter the kidney you can see the blood vessels that is the renal artery and renal vein and also in addition to it uh, the lymphatic ducts and nerves also and ureter a pair of ureter is there so we can see a single ureter which is entering the kidney and the hilum it leads to a funnel shaped cavity this is a funnel shaped cavity and this is called as the renal pelvis we can see the renal pelvis this is the funnel shaped cavity into which the hilum leads and this funnel shaped cavity is called as a renal pelvis and the renal pelvis has having certain projections and these are called as a calluses we can see the major calluses and the minor calluses so the hilum leads into a funnel shaped cavity called as the renal pelvis and this renal pelvis is provided with certain projections and these projections are called as calluses the major calluses and the minor calluses a kidney is differentiated. You take a cross-section of a kidney, is differentiated into outer cortex. This is a cortical region, outer cortex. And the inner medulla. This is the medullary region. The medulla has few conical projections and these are called as the renal pyramids projecting into the calluses. We can see the renal uh, pyramids. These are the pyramids which is seen in the medullary region. And these renal pelvids, they are projecting into the calluses. That is the projections of the renal pelvis. And the cortex extends in between the medullary pyramids as renal columns or columns of Bertini. We can see these are the columns of Bertini, which is projecting inwards, the cortical region, projecting inwards into the medullary region. Okay, So in between the medullary pyramids, we can see the cortex projecting inwards. And these are called as columns of Bertini or they are called as renal columns. So this is the internal structure of the kidney. So far we learned about the hilum, the calluses with the major and minor and the outer region is called as the cortex and inner region is called as the medulla. The medulla has many medullary pyramids which uh, projects towards the calluses and the cortical region it projects towards or inward the uh, renal pyramids and forms the columns of Bertini.